Hello, Capricorn. Welcome to your May. Let's see an overall energy for you. Mouse. Elephant. Okay. You're going to realize more than ever something that is kind of in your way, some sort of blockage. And it looks like this could be a little bit intimidating for you to confront. But once you do, you're going to realize it wasn't that big of a deal. Actually, elephants are afraid of mice, not the other way around. We'll get to that. So where's Capricorn in the supportive and beneficial energies? What will benefit Capricorn in the month? What is it? The bat. Wow. Are you dealing with a Pisces? Buffalo. Ooh, Capricorn, you have like um, very subtle spiritual energies coming in. And maybe this is little hunches that come in, little ideas, little senses of intuition or your gut instinct. You're very tuned in and this is going to be very helpful for you because the mouse also is very detail oriented. Huh. Okay. The not so beneficial or supportive energies for Capricorn in the month that they need to come bring into balance. What is it? What is it that needs balance? Oh, all work and no play, are we? We got dolphin. <laughs> what a beautiful energy. Your energy here that's benefiting you is quite dark, right? And then we have this that's like very happy in your not supportive energy. So crocodile, waiting. Mm. Waiting to strike. Okay. So Capricorn. You are very busy this month, working away, chipping away at some goal. You are perceiving either a blockage, a threat, or feeling quite stuck. There's a key here that you may need to focus on, which will help your situation immensely. Because, first of all, you are underestimating your own power and also the power of manifestation, like your ability to manifest, your ability to also hone a spiritual skill. That's what you're needing this month. You could be needing to implement like a, a spiritual practice that will help you kind of trust a process or to make appropriate changes here. There could be something that you've been doing that's not really yielding to you. And you may need to make some adjustments there. You will figure this out. It just seems as though you could also be waiting because you, you're underestimating yourself and your abilities, especially if it's a spiritual ability too. Oh, all right, let's get into this. What's this mouse? Princess of Swords, you, you're looking at something here. Could be some new information coming to your mind, Princess of Cups. Eight of Pentacles, yeah, this is you being very, very busy. So you're making a lot of plans. You could be busying yourself quite a bit this month. There are certain things that you want to make adjustments to because you do perceive some sort of trouble or being stuck in a way. You're just done with that. And I see you having the ability to do so with the star man. This is the magician. So you can create, you can manifest. You will manifest your way out of this. You do have all the skills and the talents that you need. You have all of the tools that will be vital for you. Where's Capricorn in this? Yeah, magician. There it is again. You are the magician. Nine of Pentacles. Are you trying to create more uh, abundance or 
in order to feel comfort in a way. There could be, this is what's coming in for you to reach a new level even. Okay, you could be um, reaching a brick wall with a, it could be a workplace or something you've been doing quite often. It needs to make a change. There needs to be a change here so that you can feel capable. If you are, for example, applying for certain jobs or projects, you're playing low, like you're lowballing yourself, actually. Something is saying here, shoot a little bit higher. Or have more focus on creating this self-image that will help you achieve moving forward. Because, yeah, you're playing it safe or something like this. When actually you're better than what you're thinking you are. So you're being a perfectionist <laughs> with yourself. Okay, so you're nitpicking yourself, Capricorn. All right, let's see this energy. Why is the bat here in the beneficial? It's the wheel. See? You're going to be on the top of the wheel here pretty soon. If you were on the bottom of the wheel, know that everything is always changing. That is why we're not too hard on ourselves when we're at the bottom. Okay, this is also why when you're on the top, we don't point fingers at people who are on the bottom because you know that things are always in flux. And what we all have our seasons, right? Sometimes we're up and sometimes we're down. That's just the journey. It's never just always up, right? There's always something that will come in. I see that you have the potential hugely to change here. A big change. You're going to hit a stroke of luck, actually. You're going to need to remain positive and optimistic as well. You could be getting in your own way. You could be your own worst enemy this month. Keep that in mind here. So the queen of pentacles, yeah, you have the, wow, you're going to create a lot. Whatever journey or process you're in right now is going to help you come into abundance, actually. Ace of swords. Maybe you're learning something new or you're starting a new way of doing something, being very disciplined, very diligent, and you will become this queen of pentacles, nine of pentacles energy that you're looking to be. This is a stroke of luck. It's abundance. It's value. It's worth. You may, like I said, something very lucky will come in for you this month. It, it's like a, like spirit or universe or God is kind of supporting you, like throwing you a bone here when you need it most, actually. But I feel like you need to pay attention to that because this could be so very subtle, something that's coming in that you may not perceive or you it's easy to overlook some kind of nudge or something is guiding you. You feel guided. You will be guided. There's an opportunity that's showing up that Maybe you didn't see a certain way before. You're going to see it differently or something is growing right before your eyes. Huh? You could be too focused on something else. So that's why the spiritual process is going to be important for you. Maybe find a way to slow down or have moments of not only being busy and working and getting things done because you do need to do that, but slow down so you can perceive little energies coming your way and this opportunity, which is actually huge. It's coming in really small though. Hmm. Where's Capricorn in this? Okay. World card. Yeah. That's, that's actually your energy Capricorn. The world card emperor. Exactly. Huge growth. Where's Capricorn in this? This could be some type of promotion or next level or graduation or completion of something you've been learning or focusing on. High Priestess. Yeah. Wow. High Priestess is spiritual as well. Your intuition is going to guide you here and it's from universe. So yeah, something that if you're tapped in, you're going to change things quite fast. You, yeah, it would behoove you if you actually did. Focus not only on your goal here, but the spiritual aspect, because something will happen a lot faster than what you're, you're thinking. It's like, you're going to be thrown a big bone, but it's going to look real tiny. That's why you got to kind of find a way to tap in or tune into subtleties here. Cause yeah, it's huge with judgment. 
and the high priest says. Also, you could be getting like a a download that's going to spark your interest in a new way. You have some sort of information that's coming through from a higher intelligence, really. Yeah, big time. A lot of major arcana popping out there for you. So your beneficial energy this month is quite big and you, I feel like you're, you're creating a new level of independence here or financial independence, something you can count on. Okay. This could be study work, whatever. So why is dolphin here and the not beneficial? Because of the fool card. Huh? The Ten of Cups. The Three of Swords. What's going on here? <laughs> two of Pentacles. That's your energy, the Two of Pentacles. I feel like you're being your own worst enemy. Where's Capricorn in this? It's like you're not taking a chance or you keep keeping yourself stuck even like. It could be an element of sabotage in a way, but it's because there's some sort of waiting that you're doing that's not benefiting you or. Hmm, where's Capricorn in this? Like underestimating yourself, the seven of swords, exactly what you're doing. You're playing it small. Don't do this or try not to do this. Something needs to, four of pentacles, exactly playing it small, being cheap with your own energy, your own time, your own resources, or feeling quite insecure about yourself when actually that's not what it is. It's like you're, you're, you're downplaying a lot here. And then you wonder why it's not working. It's because you don't see yourself being capable or valuable in some way. But here's an out. Here's an opportunity. So this could be something that you need to understand about yourself this month, like how you may be sabotaging yourself or playing yourself small with the mouse. You're it could be that you're busying yourself so much with little tasks and mundane things when really you need to pay attention to this big idea or this huge overlapping experience that's coming in for you that will ensure your growth. And instead, you're playing it small with little activities or keeping your schedule busy just so you can avoid something that you need to look at. Like, like I said, there's something... Hmm. Give one card for advice about this ten of swords yes yeah, stop <laughs> just stop like it's so easy the ten of cups okay this would be your happiness as well Yeah, again, the Ten of Cups. What is this Ten of Cups for Capricorn? Hangman. Waiting. Okay. Happiness is not going to fall in your lap this month. And the Nine of Cups. You do have a wish fulfillment. It's not what you're focused on. And you are. you could even be trying to make something work that's not it for you. And this is also downplaying what you're worth and what your true value is. Because with the Nine of Cups, this is somebody who is very blessed, right? And it's a Jupiterian as well. And we do have Jupiter coming in and you're beneficial. Know that something bigger and better, hugely better, is coming in this month. But you have to have eyes to see it. You have to have ears to hear, hear for it. Like you need to be able to notice it. Okay? Um, because it could be that you're stuck in some kind of... Uh, habit routine you know keep shooting yourself in your feet here 
And you got to get out of this rut in this way. So your perception is going to be key. Like being able to tune in. Yeah, I would say, especially with the high priestess, maybe, oh, wow, you have such a major blessing coming in. It's just wild. Maybe, um, wow, your spiritual gifts are evolving as well. Maybe try to tap into your spiritual gifts or, again, try to find something that, I don't know what you do specifically, but something, that, like spirit is trying to speak to you, okay? And you got to be able to tune into the subtlety somehow, that's just what it is. Because it's like, you don't want to miss this opportunity. You really don't. Okay? And you're going to sense it and you're going to feel it and you're going to somehow know it. It's like, you got to listen to that though. Okay. I'm hearing carbonator. What's a carbonator? Car carburetor could be. I know there's a carburetor. I don't know what it does, but carbonator, that's maybe carbon is, is something to look up here. Carbon or the molecules. Um, carbonator is like carbonation even maybe carbonation in beverages. This is going to be significant somehow. Maybe the molecules of that. So what is that? Is that putting oxygen into oxygenating. So maybe you need to breathe. Oh, okay. This is just going to be um, a little hint here or a suggestion. So you don't have to, but maybe tap into breath work. This could really help you like tune into the subtleties. Um, there's a lot online. You just type in breath work <laughs> on YouTube or like a session. I like Breathe with Sandy. You could check that out. I've mentioned this channel before a long time ago. But I feel like something is oxygenating or, shoot, how do I explain this? Spirit sometimes, see, exactly. Spirit is talking to you in ways that you have to kind of figure out. Well, damn, like a puzzle. This mouse has a puzzle. You, you're blocked and you've got to figure out the intricacies of that. But spirit is the answer here. Like your spiritual practice is the key. It's going to elevate you. Somehow like you're putting out echolocation and finding something, finding something out or like you're sending out. Yeah, you're manifesting. You're sending out like this wave and it's going to bring back to you this huge, beautiful opportunity. It's Maybe this is like a, a cry for difference, like, I need something different, universe or God, like, send me something new, you know, it could be something like that. I've had it with this, and it comes in <laughs> big time. You're a, you're a manifester. Did you know that? Give me a beneficial supportive energy for, I'm hearing cancer, for Capricorn. What can Capricorn focus on, like we've been talking about, but anything else? Show the world the real you. You've been downplaying yourself. Try your best to understand this. Okay? Like I said, the, I don't know if you feel, you know, you're avoiding putting yourself out there. You're avoiding it because you you yourself is telling yourself you're not good enough. Or you just feel, you, that's exactly what it is, actually. I feel like you are downplaying yourself. And so let's say, for example, you are very qualified, but you go for something that you're, you're overqualified for instead of applying for the next level or the next step up. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? A new start is coming. One more. Oh, damn. What was that? A fiery climax and nothing will come of this situation. Balance spirituality and practicality. See? Full moon in Pisces. So something that you're working on, again, this is what needs the adjustment. Because you're if you feel stuck, there's a reason. Because you think that you have to be like this or you need to downplay yourself. Don't do that. Okay? I know that's way easier said, trust me. But that's the reading in a nutshell. <laughs> so yeah, you got to do this. Balance, practicality, and spirituality. Full moon in Pisces, full moon in Aquarius. You're almost there. I want to tell you you're almost there. Full moon in Aries, yeah. 
wow, you're going to jump, you're going to skip, hop and jump ahead this month, big time, because it's like, you're trying to do something, but you get further out, like further, like you shoot way far away. So pay attention to that. Okay. Big, huge opportunity. Thank you so much, Capricorn. Feel free to check out other places. I'll see you next time.